Let's all watch Frosty the Greaser. We'll have a whole lot of fun here. We'll get our kicks from smoking toothpicks. If you're cruising for a bruising, you won't rack your views in. Those poser tunnel snakes think that they're so damn cool. I think those stupid fakes need to go back to elementary school. Stay cool. Don't be a fool. Memeless is a square. He doesn't even scare me. What's buzzing, cousin? Stay greasy. Don't be cheesy. Frosty out. What's up, guys? Frosty here, and today I got this comment. Frosty, you got any greaser tips for school? There's no greasers at my school, and they all poke fun at me because I'm not stupid like them. Any tips? So, it looks like our greaser pal is getting made fun because he's a greaser at school. You know, you guys, I've been there. Of course you're going to get hate because you're doing something that no one else is doing. Now, when I first started being a greaser, I got a lot of hate for it because, you know, one day I'm dressing like, oh, normally my hair's all messed up, and then one day, poof, I dress like this, and everyone's all, oh, man, Frosty, what's wrong with you? Why are you dressing? And I remember this one cholo group in particular really liked to bust my balls. Like, whenever I just walk down the hall, oh, it's Frosty. So, yeah, that group of cholos, they'd always go around school busting my balls, showing people my YouTube videos, and even in class, they'd always be like, oh, let's watch Frosty videos, and then, uh, my teacher actually listened to them. He played one of my videos in class. I'm all like, oh boy, maybe I should do a story time on that sometime. But anyway, the thing is, it really backfired because a lot of people that they showed my videos they actually liked it. And then I started. And I guess you guys could say I became the popular kids because everyone always knew my videos. And I could never tell if they were like, oh, what's up, Frosty? Like, just to mess with me because everyone else was doing it. Or like, just because they actually want to say hi. I don't know. You know, I'll never. So, here are my tips for being a greaser at school. If people poke fun at you, just shrug it off, you know? Like, pretend that what they say just doesn't hurt you. So and I've seen a lot of people at school sort of get bullied, and like, and they're so, uh, yeah, yeah, hi, you're so mean, you f But yeah, if they're like talking trash or something, you know, talk trash back. And here's a funny tip. Do it in greaser slang. They're not going to know what the heck you're talking about. They're going to be like, what? And then, man, it's super funny. <laughs> Because, like, yeah. eventually, I learned how to shrug the head off just by trying a bunch of different things. And, man, it was funny, because me and my other greaser pal, we were around school, and then this one kid in the locker room, he would always call me and him gay. So, man, it busts my balls so much, I tried, like, everything. I'm all, hey, hey, you nerd, trying to be all cool and stuff, and that didn't work. And then one day I'm just all like, you know, I have a good idea. I'll just be super cringy, then I'll cringe him out. <laughs> to my surprise, it actually worked, because... So, yeah, then I get in the locker room, and then he's like, hey, there's your boyfriend over there. I'm all like... Well, excuse me, princess. And they just all like, what?